everyone, it's Ann. So today we're going to take a look at an older deck. This one has been out for quite a while. Um, it's an oracle deck called the Anubis Oracle, A Journey into the Shamanic Mysteries of Egypt by Nikki Scully and Linda Star Wolf, illustrated by Chris Walher. And I believe the first printing of this was... Um, in 2007 and then there was another printing in 2008 in the guidebook it shows 2007 and 2008 it comes in a hard case hard case box um, and there's a few cars in the back and it pub it's published by Bayer and Company Worcester Vermont all right so it's not a common popular um, um, publisher now I've, I've, I've had this for a while. I don't even remember when I bought it. It's just clear white inside so it just slides out. So it's one of these where you just slide in and slide out. Um, and I was organizing and I was going through my collection and I saw this and since I recently did the Kemetic um, Tarot video which is another Egyptian deck that was just released uh, this month earlier this month and it seems to have interest and was popular I thought this Oracle would go well um, we'll take a look at the guidebook at the end would go well for anyone who just purchased that deck um, to use maybe as clarifiers or to use in conjunction so the cars is just in this plastic cutout. Alright, so and then I'll just slide back in here. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at the cards. There are only a few cards. How many cards are there? Oh they're probably numbered, right? No they're not numbered. Does it say how many cards? Thirty-five full color cards and one seventy-six page guidebook with detailed card interpretation and eight divinatory spreads. Alright, so we know there's thirty-five cards because it didn't feel that thick. Alright. So just standard oracle card size comparing it to a hay house it's taller and skinnier so it's taller and a little skinnier but pretty standard just a little taller basically and the it's paper it's thin it's very thin you guys and it's paper feel all right so here are the backs of the cards that eye of Horus and little red frame yellow back all right so the cards are not numbered but there is a uh, key words up top the name and then a phrase at the bottom it looks like all right so let's zoom in so we can have a closer look. Is that good enough? Yeah. Key card Anubis. Opener of the way. Oh, so the first card, I guess, is not numbered, but then after that it's numbers so there's zero the dove initiate innocence trust so I guess he's first he opens the opener of the way and then you start your journey I guess with the initiate like journey innocence like the fool and then neck bet mother nut alchemist Wisdom Keeper, Grandmother, so sort of like the Magician, right? The Alchemist. I'm trying to see if it kind of go along with the Tarot to the High Priestess. It does, even though it's called an Oracle. 
but so far is following the uh, major arcana of the tarot cards tarot deck Isis Holy Queen Mother of Us All so equivalent to the Empress Four Kanum Master Craftsman Creator Form so equivalent to the Emperor it looks like The Sphinx Divine Messenger so equivalent to the Hierophant in the Tarot deck Sobek and Horus Reconciliation of Opposites so that could be like the Lovers the yin and the yang, the male and the female. <coughs> Excuse me. Segment transformation. So traditionally, seven is chariot. I don't know, does that fit? Could they be moving forward? Eight is Mahat, truth. would be strength Toth illumination okay so that would be the hermit so that fits the last two cards I wasn't sure if it fits but so far it sort of loosely follows cycles of change so this would be the Tarot 10 Wheel of Fortune Tepera Holy longing, desire, instinct, sensuality. Hmm. I don't know if that follows. Eleven is usually judgment or justice in traditional tarot. Twelve, Anubis, surrender. So this would be the death, but the death card in tarot is thirteen. Thirteen is Osiris, G regeneration. Okay, so that kind of go with the death. Oh, twelve would be comparable to the hangman. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, he is hanging. I didn't notice. I didn't notice his head down here earlier. So it looks like Anubis, and he's hanging. So the hangman. All right, so that fits. And then this would be the death, comparable to the death, Osiris. Okay, so that fits. So it looks like it, it does loosely, like I said, follow the uh, Rider weight system tarot. 14 is Hathor magic. <clears throat> 15 Seth shadow. 16 is Wadget life force energy. 17 Soltis Star Consciousness. Wow, so that's like the star card. Look at that. Wow. All right. 18 Konsu Lunar Energies. So that would be equivalent to the moon. 19 Amun Ra Solar Energies. Okay, so the sun. Nice. 20 Pitta, the new eon. So is that like the a world or the judgment? Nut and um, wholeness. That's why I said it loosely follows. So this would normally be the world. And then the Nile, sacred archetypal element of water. The pyramid. The desert. So it looks like these are places. The crested ibis. Entering the mystery. Sacred relationship. Cosmic influences. Tree of Life, Higher Love and Wisdom, 
right timing and direction. These are good to use as a clarifier for a tarot reading as well. They're nice keywords, sacred purpose, alchemy. All right, so that's the last card, the five sacred elements. Oh, alchemy, so they're all blended together. All right, and here in the backs one more time. All right, so take, let's take a look at the guidebook. So let me zoom back out here. All right, so it's a full size guidebook. All right. Like I said, this is old, it's back in 2007 and 2008. So there's the table of contents. Oh, they have layouts and sample readings, acknowledgements, introduction, the words are small. So there's a lot of writing, how to use the Anubis Oracle deck. All right, with respect and reference, approaching the Oracle with questions, drawing cards, getting to know the Netaru, the Anubis Oracle deck, the 22 sacred Netaru cards. All right, so that was the first 22 cards. Okay, so that's uh, equivalent to the Major Arcana. I would imagine, yeah, key card, opener of the way. So there is some connection. So looks like there's a black and white uh, picture of the card, and then it explains a little bit about the card, about a paragraph or so, about a page. All right, and then let's see, after the 22, let's see, they have a different section. So 21, okay and then the four suit of cars of the element. Okay, so after the 22 that matches the major arcana, then it goes into the four suits. And those are the cars like the Nile, must be water, the pyramid is earth. Okay, so that makes sense, the Nile. Okay, I didn't even look at the word water. The Nile, water, pyramid is earth, the desert is fire, Crested bis is air, all right? And then the, com com the composite cards. Then we have entering the mystery. So these, are, they call the composite cards, sacred of relation, okay. So the cards are broken into the first 22 and then four elements cards, and then followed by these cards, the composites. Layouts and sample reading sections, so they give you a section on different type of spreads. Some sample readings, all right. And let's see, how many pages about the authors that are sectioned in the back? So about 162 that are numbered, but really 163 pages, but they're numbered to 162. All right, so that is the guidebook. Looks like they have a lot in there. So that's nice. So if you recently um, picked up or watched my um, watch my um, Comedic Tarot and you like that, um, I think this would be a cool deck, Oracle, to go with that deck. So I will link, if you haven't seen that and you're curious or you like Egyptian, if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it. Um, so it'll pop up so you can click on it and then I will put the link um, for this deck if you're interested in purchasing down at the bottom in the description but I'll link the other video so that you can just click all right well thanks for watching I hope you enjoy that I think I'm gonna start using this one um, with the comedic tarot and see how it reads all right I will catch you again in the next video bye